as soon as you tap, right, we need to be really good at this movement as a fullback. Okay, okay, welcome back to the training ground. Today, in this video, we're going to be looking at a position specific exercises. It's going to be right back specific. Is it Evelyn? Say hi to the channel. Hi, I'm Evelyn. What do you play? Uh, right back. Okay, for which club? Uh, Rapids, RL North. Brilliant. <laughs> so we're just going to be looking at some of the specific movements that we can create for her, um, such as receiving the ball from the center back and looking for her wingers and movement afterwards, or some of the different scenarios where we can uh, try and protect the ball, or how can we advance it um, to play progressive. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's start with the warm up. Okay. Let's go. Good. So. I like to start the, uh, the day with this, just so we have the, the feel going of the touches and the rhythm. Obviously, it's nine o'clock in the morning at the moment. She must have just woken up, so the touches aren't the, clean, the cleanest or the clearest, but it'll get there. All right, next one, let's go in step, inside, in step, inside. So again, just a different variation of different technique. Yeah, just gotta wait for the ball to come down a little bit more, right? Okay. So again, the goal is to find the rhythm, just making good contact and be bouncy on the knees. And just to bring up your concentration level a little bit, a uh, little bit as well. All right, next one, instep, instep, inside, inside. This is another variation. Double instep, double inside. And it's a great exercise to just increase the level of your, the proficiency of your basic skills. Just to understand the feel on the ball and what it should feel like, the rhythm, the coordination that comes with it. Again, just like in the game, the ball is gonna travel over your head quite a lot when you're playing the fullback, fullback position. So come into your defensive shape here, knees low, feet wide apart, with the uh, arm here, give a little tap, ball's gonna go over the head, come to a recovery, and then play, and then reset. So try and mix up your body shape as well. So at times you can come here, and other times you can come here, right? Just keep, your concentration on your feet movement. Okay, and then recover on the first touch, progressive, and then we play. I think a couple of times when we were doing it, yeah. the ball came out a little too far, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the distance that we want to try and keep after the first touch is yeah. where we, as we turn our hips, the ball should be right about there, maybe a step or two away. So that way our next action can come fast enough. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. try and focus on that this time, okay? Yeah. And then think about your second action. It's gotta be a little bit more intense. Higher intensity. Evelyn, as soon as you tap, get moving. Don't wait, get moving. Good recovery, but don't wait, get moving. Get moving, drop, drop, drop. Good, and play. You gotta drop faster. Two things for me. As soon as you tap, right, we need to be really good at this movement as a fullback, okay? okay? When you defend, especially when you're defending. Yeah. So that means as soon as we tap, that's, a, that's an engagement, that's a trigger for the ball to be sent over. So you got to get moving immediately. Okay, okay. Next thing. Okay. 
you don't want the ball to go straight over your head. Yeah. So even if you move quicker, it helps you more too. Yeah. But I want to come where the ball's coming, like side on, because otherwise you can't see the ball, right? right? Exactly. So again, just like Ben said, don't let the ball hang directly above your head because you can't see the ball in your feet, right? So as soon as, you're, as soon as I tap, maybe what I can do is go half a step this way and then get moving forward or backwards. Mm -hmm right so you've got to give that little space first to see that ball hanging in front of you to have better coordination okay all right good touch so give a little space in front of you come on recover good yes yes next section make sure your passes are clean good that's it Yeah, don't let it hang directly above your head. So drop a little bit more so you have, that's it, that's it. It becomes much easier, much, much easier. Love that. Well done, next, next, get low, get low. We can turn the hips immediately to see the ball if you, if you can come out straight forward, good. Well done, good. How do you feel? Okay, but that was much better, right? There was like one or two maybe where the ball was hanging kind of hanging above your head, but the rest was good. Okay, I think now we want to try and focus on if you were to control the ball on the wedge with your inside, see if you can start turning, right, on the touch, turn your hips, right? So that way my hips are facing forward yeah. after the first touch, so that way the ball is going to come out nicely and your second action is going to come a lot quicker. Okay. Uh, next thing, don't just stick to inside. You can go with the left outside. You can go right foot cruif, right? Right foot outside. There's different types of touches, right? Because imagine, what if the ball is hanging this way, right? Yeah. And the player is also following you, right? Opposition. You just might have to get out with the cruif into this space. Yeah. So this is when you start to uh, think about different scenarios, even when we're doing the same exercise. So now it's all in your head, depending on how you draw it. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's okay to make mistakes, but this is where you gotta give it a go. Good effort, good effort. You just have to be patient and then turn your hips as you do it. effort again if that if you're gonna go with the outside make sure the ball goes across your body exactly that's it yes don't jump I'll show you okay so inside very good, very good wedge controls. Yeah. But two things that you, you struggled a little bit was outside in the cruif, yes? Yeah, yeah. What did you struggle with? Um, for the cruif, I just can't like really figure out how to get it back. Yeah. And then for the outside, I think I just have to time it. More. Yes. What I think what I saw when you were doing at the outside yeah. was you started to jump a little bit. Yeah. And then at times you were controlling the ball when your planted foot was here and then your contact was being made here. Outside could be easier as the ball is coming across your body, right, across your shoulder, and then when you start to reaching, when you start to reach across your body as well. Yeah. So as I'm coming, because the steps we're taking is this motion, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So because of that, naturally, my step is here, outside can be done in this manner as well. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's what we try and focus on. Meet the ball here rather than up here. Okay, because that's when you start making mistakes. Cruyff, as the ball is coming across, same thing, yeah. but it's a lot easier if the ball is not so close to my body. Yeah, you just you just want it more outside of your frame. Because think about the other touch. You're you're so close to your plant foot, yeah. you don't have enough space to get it behind you. So you gotta be wider. So you got space to pull it behind that plant leg. Yeah. That's it. And then what's important is that we don't drop our foot, it's toes down and it's coming up this way. There. I will show you, okay? There. There. 
Nice. Outside. Nice. Okay. Other side. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Don't hook it. All right. Don't chop. Yeah, remember you want it across that plant foot. Okay. There you go. That was much better motion because you weren't swinging your leg from up to down. Yeah, still give yourself that angle, right? You lost the ball. It's going straight over exactly. you. Exactly. So difficult. Yeah, on the contact, as you make the contact, there's gotta be a rotation of the hip. That's vital if you wanna get this done. Because it's in that motion. It's in that motion. And then the contacting foot goes behind, right? and you're rotating. So again, if, if the ball's traveling, right? If yeah. the ball's traveling, as I'm making the contact, it's there, right? I'm making that motion. Okay. So then with my hips, now then face forward. Okay. That Good, better. that was better. Well done. Oh, wait, yeah, close. yeah. Also, that ball is bouncing too high. Yeah. Catch it as soon as it bounces, as soon as it touches the ground. And you've got to get, be able to make the contact on the inside. As soon as it makes the contact on the ground. You're late. If you're late, I can't do it. As soon as it touches the ground. Look for it. Hook. Late. Okay, well done. But if that ball comes out forward, even more, even more, even better, right? More progressive. Good, good. Let's go one more. Directly above your head that was, right? Made it difficult. You managed it, but it was still very difficult. One more. And easily fixable. Again, that's directly hanging. Good recovery. Yeah. But again, directly hanging, right? Again, it's so important that you are able to see yeah. here, not there. Because the problem is I don't, I don't see the space now. I don't see anything. You don't want to move in a straight line. So like this line of delivery between me and the black spot, you should be going outside of it every time. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Always bend your run. Yeah. So you can see the ball, what's in front of you, and where you're going. And even better, the player that you're playing against. Okay? Okay. Quick water and then we move on to some other specific work. Okay.